Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder EX here with um, a kind of let's play and review of Castlevania Harmony of Despair. Um, I am uh, going to do this in six parts. The first part is going to be the general review. The other five parts are going to be specific character reviews and other specific information as well. Um, the first part, as you can see, I disconnect from Xbox Live. Um, I'm going to be doing the first two parts in single player and then the rest are going to be on multiplayer. So, uh, without further ado, uh, let's get to the review of it. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of just uh, goofing off with this. Um, I've recorded uh, the gameplay and then I'm doing uh, voiceover. Uh, all of the videos are going to be played through Shinoa because she is the character that I have the most experience with. But I do have a fair bit of experience with the other characters uh, in multiplayer, so I will be talking a lot about them as well. Alright, uh, getting started, let's talk about um, the concept. And we're going to go ahead and rate the concept with a 5 out of 5. Uh, because th it's a great concept. It's a multiplayer Castlevania game. Huge stages. Uh up to six players, so it, it, it accommodates a good number of players easily. That's an amazing concept. The other, the only other multiplayer Castlevania game that I can think of is Castlevania Judgment, which failed. Uh, a Castlevania fighting game that was just horrible. Um, so, this is a very refreshing change of pace. It's, everyone had been clamoring for a good Castlevania multiplayer game, and the idea kind of came about when uh, Portrait of Ruin came out, where you're playing as two characters together. But wouldn't it be good to have, you know, a friend help you out? And this game does it really, really well. Uh, you can team up to up to s with up to six total players in a party. Uh, the matchmaking system. Uh, it is a little lackluster. Uh, it just will find whoever is available. It doesn't take into consideration if you've just started or if you've already got every feasible item in the game and therefore are ridiculously powerful. So that is a little aggravating. But if you've got a group of friends on Xbox Live that have it, it's, it, it, it's a party. It really is. It's great. So... I'm very impressed with the concept. The execution, however, we'll get into now. Uh, next, we'll go ahead and rate the graphics. This I gave a 3.5, or a 3 out of 5, excuse me. Uh, because it's... I have no problem with sprite animations. I love sprite animations. I really do. Uh, but the fact that they're the same sprites used in the games, there are very few new sprites for this. All of the enemies, everything has just been reused. So, I know this game didn't have that much of development time if all of the art was already developed, you know, several years in advance. Because, I mean, you've got sprites from Symphony of the Night making a return. And, yeah, it's... That, that tells you something. The only really good part of the graphics is the fact that you are in the whole level and you can zoom out and in to see yourself and any of the other characters in multiplayer. That is really one of the redeeming qualities about it. Uh, the whole level is accessible straight from the start, so it's no wandering and getting lost. Well, there is wandering and getting lost, but you can fully see where you're going at any given moment. There's no guessing game to it. So, that that is a redeeming quality, but I'm quite disappointed with the fact that there's very few new sprites. Uh, sprite animation is not hard, especially this day and age. Some, some new sprites would have been refreshing. There are a couple of new sprites, but not not anything major. I, I would have liked to have seen everyone a little updated. So, that's my personal opinion. Uh, next, let's talk about um, the sound and music quality. Uh, sound effects are alright. Sometimes they drown out 
the gameplay a little bit, especially if you have uh, multiplayer set up. It, it can be... It's, uh... Otherwise, the, the sound effects are fine. The sound effects do fit. All Everything is sound effects you've heard in a Castlevania game before, which is not bad. I mean, that gives it a little level of familiarity. But uh, a, a little louder or a little softer in some instances would have been nice. But there is the ability to adjust the, the sound effects in the, uh, the system options. But anyway... The music, however, is what I really want to talk about. You can hear the music uh, in the gameplay. It is amazing. It's it is Castlevania music. No matter it, that's all it is. It's every level feels like it, it's supposed to be a Castlevania level because of the music. Everything you're doing, it really feels like you are still rocking it out in Dracula's Haunted Castle on your way to kill the Lord of the Night. It's... Music is, is very impressive. I gave the sound of the music uh, 4 out of 5 for that reason. Not quite perfect because I would have liked to have heard uh, a couple of more classic tracks. A lot of uh, what you hear and what you see from the game comes from the DS games and not so much the classic games even though it, it does fit a little bit better because there are no Belmonts in this game so but a, a couple more classic tracks would have been a little more welcome and then uh, last but not least which is what we have uh, the most to talk about the uh, the entertainment and replay factor of the game. This one I gave it a three point or a three out of five. And that seems a little harsh, but it it, it is. Um, because multiplayer is the name of the game. And as you can see, like I said, the first two levels of this I did single player. On normal mode, you've got X number of time to beat the stage. There are six stages. Once you complete all six stages, you have access to hard mode, which brings out all six stages again, but they will rip you a new one. Fire. Now, Fire. that sounds like a good reason to replay it, but it's kind of not, because you have, you have to go through the game a fair number of times to get decent equipment. There is no level system in this game. Your stats are predetermined by what you're wearing. Your HP, MP, strength, attack, everything goes up based off of what you have equipped. So in order to be able to survive the hard mode, you need to be able to have access to the high-end weapons and armor. The easiest way to do that is to play the game on multiplayer, because that's what you have the easiest... Uh, rate of success with. because with multiplayer you can just be an item sponge not that I'm condoning that but it, no matter what you do your first playthrough on multiplayer you will more than likely be an item sponge and letting everyone else collect items for you because whenever someone in multiplayer opens a chest everyone gets treasure regardless of if you were the one opening the chest or not so that's really one of the quickest ways to get enough weapons to where you can go through single player on your own. But that's only depending on what character you pick. And that's another part of it. Multiplayer shows that there are several imbalances with the characters, more so than single player. Single player, it's very hard for certain characters to beat certain bosses. Just period. Multiplayer, that's when uh, the balance comes into it, but when you get to see the imbalance of the characters even more. Uh, Soma has probably the most customization available as a single character. Shinoa 
probably has one of the least customization of any character. To make up for that, Shinoa has the ability to use uh, a travel system that is restricted to only her, the little magnet uh, blocks. But, uh, yeah, it's... It's a little depressing that not all the characters are balanced the way they should be. So, in order to actually get great equipment, you're going to have to play multiplayer. Unless you just become really good at playing every character by themselves, or just start with Soma. Soma is, is much easier to go through the game with than any of the other characters for a first run. But every character has their strengths and weaknesses, which is good, but the a lot of the weaknesses in the customization aspect is kind of lacking. So, you really do have to play multiplayer, and then once you finally unlock the hard Move stages out. to get the, um, the higher-end equipment, because the higher-end equipment drops on the same levels but in hard mode, you're, you, you've gone through the same level probably three times, if not more, to get certain drops, and the drops are random. And I, I dislike a lot of random drop systems, I really do, especially ones this random. Uh, because you'll get equipment that's suitable for your character. So if I'm playing Shinoa, I'm not going to find a handgun, which is a Soma-only weapon, in a treasure chest anywhere. If someone opens a treasure chest, I'm not going to get that weapon. It's just not going to happen. But if I'm playing Soma, I'm not going to find the glyph weapons that are Soma or uh, that are Shinoa's spells and weapons either. So you replayability again comes into it. You're, if you want to level up another character, you've got a lot of the same equipment that they can use, but your weapon selection or spell selection is going to be severely lacking, which is going to limit Let's you get going. immensely. Also, certain uh, items are only available from the shop, meaning you have to buy and sell and buy and sell and go back and forth through weapon er, levels to farm money to buy and sell and buy and sell and buy and sell. And that's really only big if you're going for a couple of achievements. There is one achievement that uh, is based off of money and one achievement that's based off of the number of items you've got. So. Yeah. I mean, overall, as an Xbox Live arcade game, it's very good. Overall score I gave this was a 4 out of 5. I'm a little disappointed with the character balance, which I'm going to go a little more in-depth talking about each specific character in the, the later later functions. But it's, it's a fun game, but only really with friends. If you've got a group of friends that you can play this with, it's well worth it. Um, if you're just playing with random people online, not so worth it. Um, and it's really not worth the, uh, the, the 1200 point price tag. So, um, uh, this has been part one. Uh, stick around for, uh, the future installments.